It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Our featured matchup tonight out in Toronto, where the Raptors will be going up against the New York Knicks. For New York, they are hungry for a win here. Last season, they got swept by this team. Four straight losses, something they haven't forgotten. And we all know that DeMar DeRozan is an incredible scorer. But one of the big reasons why he's so good often gets overlooked is his footwork. Mm. Some would say it's the best in the game at his position. Yeah, he can protect the ball and create space. I know you guys say this is not a word. His feet work. It's footwork. It's footwork. Feet work is amazing. Okay. Foot well, he is has one. Feet. Yeah, feet. And both but of his feet don't go work to work. Together. But, well, tell me, tell me this. <laughs> if, you're, if you have great hand-eye coordination, is it great hands-eyes coordination? Yes. No, it's great hand-eye coordination. No, it's hands-eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny? Please, I, I'm, I'm take speechless. my side. I'm speechless. Take my because, side. You know, first of all, he has a great step through move. That, that's what really, and he gets to the rim. He's always and in control. And he hits control. tough shots. He hits tough shots. And I always say this, Ernie, if you know, he, he plays chess to chess. So he plays chesses to chesses. Chesses to chesses. I have a question <laughs> for the panel. What, what is your question? One goose is what? Geese. One goose is a goose. a goose. And more than one goose is? Geese. Geese. All right, one moose is a what? Moose. Moose. More than one moose. Meese. Thank you very much. It's not meese. <laughs> it's not meese. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Goose, geese, moose, meese. Footwork, feet work. Same thing. Chesses, chesses. Hands, eyes, coordination. Same thing, Ernie. Man. the place they call the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario, the home of the Raptors, where we're broadcasting live. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. And back in Toronto following the road trip, it's the Raptors on their home court. Well, it's been an improvement this year over last season. They made a lot of adjustments and happy to see that they translate into some tangible results. And this is what the NBA is all about. Competition. That's why rivalries do matter. They do. It's good for the sport. The TV ratings, the fans, but most of all, when you're a player in this kind of game, the adrenaline rush is incredible. And so off the tip, it's New York. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And New York, looking at who they've got. They've got Ennis Cantor, Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with Porzingis. Then it's Lee, and it's Jack in at the one. Well, Smitty, we have a fantastic matchup between two of the top centers in the league right in front of us here. It's a throwback to an era of an earlier time when big men were dominant in this league. Kevin, I remember those days when you, you just sat down, you wanted to see Shaq versus Ewing, Akeem versus David Robinson. 
Those were fun. Yes, as a guard, we had matchups. But you know, that was different. Those were the big man battling. Yes, yes. I miss those days. I do too. And he makes the first. And you look at the Raptors, one of the top teams in the East, Greg, but do they have a chance to go all the way? I think they're a threat to make the finals. Can, can they win it all? Uh, they may be a piece or two away, but still a young and aggressive core. They continue to try to add pieces, and this is a group that has proven they want to win and win now. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. Takes a shot at the elbow, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Hard away against. Oh! Yes! Yes! Wow! We are going to remember that one oh. for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. And good that time. That's where Valanciunas is a handful inside and on the block. Toronto on defense. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Especially on the road. You're hoping for any extra contributions. But for a couple of stretches there, the backups control the game. Now here's Paul after Ennis Cantor's miss. Now Powell, 11 points last game. Here's Ibaka, Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Creating a size mismatch in close, that's the kind of thing you're working for. Lowry passes to Ibaka. Back to Lowry, Powell with the screen. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. And Ibaka slams it in. I'll tell you, for a veteran, Ibaka still gets sky high on these alley-oops. Cantor with a screen on Lowry. Here's Jack. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Powell with the screen. Ibaka sets the pick for Lowry. Ibaka outside. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And, and Serge Ibaka, remember, it was a first-team all-defense selection. But over time, I think he's become more of a scoring-minded player, and I think that's affected his impact defensively. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Serge Ibaka, the league leader in block shots for two years in a row in 2012 and 13, but he sends him back at about half the rate he once did. Yeah, but even still, pretty good shot blocker. You add in his finishing and outside shooting, and he's a player to be reckoned with. Ibaka hits both of them. It's a luxury to have a big man who can shoot free throws this way. Hardaway, and then Hardaway with the dunk. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And Ibaka slams it in. What a look from Lowry. Just knew he would be open. The Knicks with the lead. Jack with it. Eight points his last outing. Lee dishes to Cantor. Inside, Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. Oh, Kev, he put some <laughs> anger behind that one. You're telling me. The Raptors have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Here's Lowry. He's coming off a 16-point game against New Orleans. Also, you have to mention the rebounding, another area where he excels. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. 
Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for New York. And no doubt they relied upon that three-point shot to provide a big chunk of their scoring. Now, that's been a trend in the modern NBA, and, and they took that philosophy and, and ran with it. The Knicks leading by four. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Lee kicks to Porzingis. Cancer with a screen on a bucket. Courtney Lee is on the wing, fires the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. DeRozan's shot is good. DeMar DeRozan, one of the best in the business in knocking down the mid-range jump shot. And Jack kicks to Porzingis. Pass to Hardaway. Baca against Porzingis. Down to five on the shot clock. And Lee with the basket on the assist from Hardaway. And there's where, if you get some room, you kind of have to take that shot to keep the defense honest. Valanciunas passes to Ibaka. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Ibaka's got eight points. If your leg surge get looks in there, he's going to shoot him for a very high percentage. Hardaway sets a screen for Perzingis. Cancer with a screen on Ibaka. Here's Jack. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And, and coming out of the offseason where the Knicks had a really long to-do list, you knew they were going to shake things up and made some moves in free agency and, and realized they needed to build around Porzingis going forward. drops for Jared Jack and change was needed badly for the Knicks and they did that starting with the front office yeah Nick fans can have a dire outlook at times but the team still has a solid foundation it will take some time for the team to become a true contender again but having players not be at odds with the front office definitely a good start And Jarrett Jack drops them both. Raptors trail by five. Earlier, David Aldridge spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. Dave, what'd you find out? Thanks, Kevin. He told me that when you're playing against a team as good as they are inside, you have to stop the easy looks. He said if they can keep them out of the paint, they'll be in good shape to win. We'll see, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. No good from Valanciunas. Can't finish. And defensively, nice job of altering the shot without fouling. Jack against Lowry. Screen by Porzingis. Here's Hardaway. Good. And Jack gets the assist. Hardaway has got six. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. In Toronto, they've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Jack against Lowe. There's a screen by Cantor. Over in the corner, Lee. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on DeRozan. And looking at the career of, of Courtney Lee, you know, has hopped around from team to team a bunch of times and, and always a valued teammate, but just hadn't stayed on one team for very long. First one at the line is good. And with Lee, you know exactly what you're going to get with this defense and shooting. And Lee is always going to be a wanted commodity. Uh, his ability to defend and shoot aren't easy 
to find, and you just hope he's able to kind of settle in into a long-term situation. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. Tries from 16. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Valanciunas has got his second bucket of the game to go. The Knicks leading by seven. Now here is Jack. Six points for him. They set the pick. Porzingis kicks to Hardaway. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Foul for three. Raptors with a fresh shot clock. Hardaway against DeRozan. And now just a five-point New York lead. And here is Jack. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. He feeds it to Lee. Cantor with a screen on Lowry. Lee kicks to Cantor. A three-pointer off the mark. Raptors are gone. Seven of 11 for the field to begin the game. Lowry has the open look. Offensive rebound. It's deflected. Now Jack. Canner, high post. The kick out to Jack. And here's Przingis for a three. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Jack's got three assists now in this one. So timeout, timeout, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. And they rolled over this team last season, beating them every time they faced off. Yeah, these two teams haven't changed that much. So I wouldn't be surprised if they run the table on them again. Smitty still the most electrifying play in the game, the slam dunk for your money, who are the more phenomenal dunkers right now in the league. Zach Levine is at top of my <laughs> list. I flyer, you're right. LeBron James, Aaron Gordon, uh, those guys. Anthony uh, the Kumbo. Yes. I mean, you talk about guys that are trying stuff that guys don't try in games. Those guys, Russell Westbrook, um, love to see more of these guys in the dunk contest. But Zach Levine right now is at the top of my list. He is. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. Here's Baker. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Nilakina can't hit. Raptors trail by eight. Kicks it to Miles. And C.J. Miles with the slam. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Got a piece of it. Right with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Right sets a screen. Here's on an open. Covered by Beasley. Shot clock at six. Here's the screen. The 11-footer. It's deflected. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. New York leading by six. Here's Nilakina. His last outing, he had eight points. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Let's use this break in the action to show you the teams that in the last ten games have been the NBA's best fast break teams. Fifth, the Raptors. I mean, tough to maintain this kind of pace over an entire season. But let me tell you, they are really running right now. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. 
right outside. Outside for Miles. Hands it from downtown. Miles has got five points so far. Oh, a good open look, and he sprays it home from three. Easily outside. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Raptors trail by five. Wright dishes to Miles. The pass to Siakam. Back to Miles. Nogueira gets a screen for Miles. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. You can see there, the defender allows himself to get picked. You know, it's all about effort. Sometimes you're going to get hit on hard screens. You just have to fight through them. Well over a decade in the NBA for C.J. Miles, taken straight out of high school by the Jazz back in 2005. And he's just now entering his 30s. A good floor spacer and solid defender at the two Let's or stop. three spot. Free throw good, Miles. New York's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Beasley the screen to the left side wing. Pass to Nilakina, expanding his range, and it's Miles with the rebound. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. I love it. Really, both teams running plays that fit the personnel going back and forth. There's Baker. Beasley, the pass to Baker. Just five to shoot. Here's Nilakina. Here's Hernan Gomez. How on the play? Basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. And he's got his first chance at the line here. throw good Hernan Gomez and the Raptors unique in the NBA they have a whole nation behind them <laughs> and basketball continues to gain in popularity especially with the younger generation in Canada uh, the Raptors are coming to relevance at the perfect time and that rabid fan base energized by how competitive this group's been the last couple seasons back to O'Quinn they set the screen over Nogueira he goes up again. Hernan Gomez kicks to Baker. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. The floater, it's deflected. Miles dishes to Nogueira. Sixteen seconds left here in the opening quarter. Great positioning on the putback. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Nilakina. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Beasley. Sinks the 15-footer. And the Knicks lead by two. That mid-range jumper is just another one of his weapons. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. New York ahead, leading by just two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And Serge Ibaka, known for his shooting ability now, he talked about the confidence his teammates and his coach instilled in him. 
he throws to you. Every time he pumps the ball, when you don't shoot, he screams you, shoot ball. The next time what, you will shoot. And if he miss, you say, yeah, good shot. You know, and your coaches and the practice talking to your teammates. Man, when surge is open, give him the ball. He will make that shot. Well, if you wonder how much difference a coach can make for a player, there it is. Huh? You, you heard it in Serge's voice, too. That confidence has already been planted in him. That, that voice telling him, shoot the ball, is now in his own head. He, he's going to be just fine. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Protecting that rim early on, uh, that's been a big factor for them tonight. Well, you can erase a lot of defensive mistakes when you have shot blockers lurking in the background. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Ilakina out there with Baker. Then there's Beasley. Then there's Hernan Gomez. And it's O'Quinn in at the four. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, Raptors coach Dwayne Casey talked about the chemistry on his team. He said, we couldn't be better. There's no ego, no hidden agendas. Guys understand their roles. Kyle Lowry told me, we're a complete team, 15 deep, and we really mean that. You never know whose time it's going to be. Kevin? And DA depth is a crucial part of any team's success. No one you can rely on your teammates to step up is huge. Baker, no good. Raptors trail by four. Passes it to on an open. And he drops in the layup off the glass. This is what your spacing is designed to do. Find cracks in the defense. Here's Neil Aquino, guarded by Wright. Beasley kicks to Hernan Gomez. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes in. Lucas Nogueira. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Smitty, you played a couple seasons in the Northwest where the Portland Trailblazers are wildly successful and very, very popular. You hear rumblings about a return of the NBA to Seattle. Do you think it'll ever happen? You know, Kevin, I hope so. There's a lot of places in the NBA, and we have some great cities. But I think Seattle, speaking for myself, was one of the favorites. They came out, they supported, obviously, most fan bases support when they're winning. But even when Seattle was mediocre, that fan base was there. They enjoyed it. I love the Northwest. I hope it happens again. I hope the NBA basketball returns to Seattle. No good on the free throw. the second free throw good and in last season the Knicks raised expectations with some of those big free agent signings and trades in the prior year and let's face it things just didn't work out quite how they had planned some would say they underachieved hard pill to swallow for a fan base that went into the year with so much hope and out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession and a moment here to check out the stats for miles averaging about 11 points two assists and two rebounds and the numbers won't wow you but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night you need guys who understand their roles carry them out without complaint everything he does is for the team Ananobi no good and a big problem for the Knicks in their shortcomings last season was their defense. Yeah, and listen, they have some shot blocking, but as a whole, the defense lacked teeth. More than anything else, it played a part in the disappointment of last season's campaign, and it's something they'll be focusing on in the coming years. Now here's Wright. Eight points his last outing. On and Obi, good. They are just killing them on the interior. Knicks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Beasley inside, missed inside. Allowing no space for the shooter to get comfortable. Just terrific defense. What I love is he takes the right angle, affects the shot without fouling. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Fast break Toronto. Here's Hananobi, and he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. 
and that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Here's Nilakina. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. At the top of the key, Herman Gomez. Six to shoot. O'Quinn, the pass to Baker. Over to the wing. Nilakina. Hernan Gomez kicks to Beasley. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Beasley's got seven points. Bad communication defensively. This is the last guy you want to leave open from there. Toronto calls timeout. And what was a wild ride of an offseason for the Knicks ultimately results in a regime change. Yeah, I mean, players butting heads with, with executives, and when it came down to it, things just needed to change. If the Knicks picked the Zen master over Porzingis, fans might have rioted in New York City, and hopefully the franchise can kind of start to right the ship. Yeah, I mean, it's an opportunity to kind of regroup and, and discuss ways to maximize these possessions. The reason why is you like to get value every time down the floor. But that does take a lot of discipline. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. Now here's Poe. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Lowry. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. The quickness of Kyle Lowry getting them out and running. There's a screen by Cantor. Here's Jack. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. He's got eight. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. To the middle. The shot comes out. The Knicks go the other way with it. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, struggled to shoot the basketball in that game, but still found a way, if you will. I mean, they had to pick up the slack in a lot of other areas, and they did. You're not going to be on all the time, and they were prepared for that and scraped and clawed their way to a victory. Here is Ibaka after Ennis Canner's basket, and he makes that one. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Now here is Jack. Eight points for him. Hardaway passes to Porzingis. Here's Cantor. Out to Porzingis. And again, New York with the triple. Uh, I, I don't think we'll ever see another seven-foot three player who can drain the three like Porzingis. He, he takes the idea of that inside-outside threat to a whole nother level. Now here is Lowry. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Not sure who designed that play, but he makes it count. The Knicks have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. There's a screen by Canner. Lee kicks to Jack. Off the pick. They get it again. Right side Hardaway. The three from Porzingis. That doesn't go either for Porzingis. Toronto trailing. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. Some good defense in the NBA, so let's check out the leaders. The Raptors third. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard, and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. Here's Powell, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. And here is Jack. He's got eight. Outside Hardaway. To the left wing. Here's Persingas. Shot clock at five. And the dunk by Persingas. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. The Raptors have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Here's Lowry. It's rebounded by New York. Cantor's got his fifth rebound in this one. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Ibaka. 
Lowry for three. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Well, Lowry will never hesitate to take a three. It's a big part of his arsenal. For Zingas, here's Hardaway. And the shot falls short this time. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And stay with the play, Valanciunas. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And Lee with the stuff. And that's how it's done. I mean, find <laughs> that hole in the D and then go hard to the rack. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. It looked like a total breakdown to me there. He exploited that hole perfectly and made them pay. The Rosen's shot is off. And on some plays, everything goes your way, except for the finish. And Greg, with Ennis Canner last season, he had to miss significant time with the broken hand, but his offensive game is something to watch when he's healthy. He just plays hard. He provides that instant offense off the bench, a great array of post moves to pick from. Inside, and DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Lowry. DeRozan's got the lead up to four now for Toronto. Now Jack, eight points for him. Here's Lee, and the rejection by Valanciunas. Those are the plays you want from Valanciunas on the defensive end. Didn't hesitate to challenge the shot. Powell dishes to DeRozan. From 20 feet out. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got rebound number eight now on the night. Let's it go from 14. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. And he's just going all out to get the second chance points. Just a terrific finish. There was no one that was going to prevent MGA from converting that one. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. And he demonstrated why right there. Now, here's Valanciunas, and Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Hardaway, offensive rebound. Singus passes to Hardaway. Lee kicks to Hardaway. Out to the wing, and here's Persingas for a three. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. 17 points for Perzingis. Toronto's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Harder Rosen on the wing. Makes it off the glass. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. Defensively, you hate to see DeRozan in the painted area. Shoots a high percentage from that area. And Jack kicks to Cancer. Perzingis sets the pick for Jack. Screened by Porzingis. Outside Hardaway. Lock at six. From deep. Hope they get it back. Out to Lee. Tries again. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Boy, he loved that mid-range jumper. Just fails to create enough room to operate. And the foul on Jared Jack. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Toronto. Nogueira comes in for Jonas Valanciunas, and it's C.J. Miles in for Powell. And then for New York, Baker, he's checked in for Lee, and it's Nilakina in for Jarrett Jack. Now here is Lowry. He has five. Shots good by Ibaka. Having a tremendous game here. Ibaka's been on fire, and the defense has failed to adjust. Knicks trail by three. 104 left now here in the second. Here's Baker. It's tipped. Here's Miles. And then CJ Miles with the dunk. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. And watching Porzingis play, you, you know, you forget how tall he really is in terms of how he moves. You know, not only how quick he is, but also that skill set. Incredible that a player his size won the skills competition in last year's All-Star festivities.
that free throw good from Porzingis. And that is what fools a lot of NBA fans about Porzingis. Most of the highlights, Greg, you see are his blocks and putback dunks. But if you watch his game, you see that skill level. It's rare to see a player who's the complete package like Porzingis. I mean, he's fluid. He's got the easy-looking shot. It, it almost looks like he's a guard shooting the basketball, comfortable creating for himself or playing off others. Now here's Wright. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. The Raptors have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Wright. And a $30 million, 65,000 square foot practice facility for the Raptors opening back in 2016. Smitty, have you had a chance to check it out yet? Yeah, I have not, but I've got a chance to see pictures. And as much as the players benefit, another key feature is the interactive operations room for management. A wall and conference table made up of giant touchscreens. Wow. Allowing them to pull up numbers and stats. It's like something out of a movie. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, just think what's happening here. He hasn't found his groove, yet they still hold the lead. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Knocks down the 10-footer. Wright's got his second bucket of the night. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Raptors lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We got to come out with our energy. We're gonna come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. A big night so far for Serge Ibaka. He had 12 points and one assist. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops, run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. Shaq, what did you think about New York? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards, and they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that is just about going to wrap it up as the second half is moments away. Down to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. And it's been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. Raptors leading by four. Ibaka is the four, and Valanciunas in the middle. Lowry out there with Norman Powell, and it's DeRozan in at the small four. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Now here's Valanciunas. Good on the shot. Lowry's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Raptors. Lowry showing how crafty he can be with that hoop inside. And Jack kicks to Porzingis. Screen by Lee. Ibaka comes with the double team. Courtney Lee is on the wing. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. 
Lee's got nine. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Yes, in the first minute or so, you knock down a couple of shots. You are in rhythm. Now here's DeRozan. But he recovers it. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That is his first foul of the game. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Screened by Ibaka. Powell kicks to Lowe. Alan Judas with a screen on Jack. Tries to keep it alive. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And with the break in the action, let's look at the stats for Hardaway. He's averaging 15 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Well, and we've seen defenses try to adjust. But he has the intelligence along with the talent, just finds new ways to beat them. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, it may not be the era of the center in the NBA, but Jonas Valanciunas has something to say about that. He said, I try to make sure they don't forget about centers. I'll keep reminding them. The league is full of guys that can do different things, but I still think you need a center that can rebound the ball and score in the low post. I agree. Kevin? Well, the centers are still important, David. Good to see Valanciunas making his presence felt in the paint. You know, coming out of the half, you want to set the tone for the rest of the game. But going one for four is the wrong way to do it. Jack dishes to Hardaway. Cantor sets the pick for Hardaway. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on DeRozan. And Tim Hardaway, the 23rd pick back in 2013 out of Michigan. Talk about his game. You know, he's always been a fantastic shooter, mostly a spot-up guy. But now he's able to put it on the floor and make some plays. And what he does best, he can run the floor without the basketball. Shooting two. Free throw good from Hardaway. And Steve, in your playing days, you always struck that balance, I always thought, between calling your own number and creating for teammates. That's that's a real, that's a real gift. It is. And I think the value of playing winning basketball, Kevin, is whatever play dictates making your teammates better or making the winning play. I think a lot of guys right now get caught up in stats. Whatever's the play to help your team win, that's the play that needs to be made. Well, sir. And the Raptors miss again terrible beginning to the second half just one of five so far Jack against Lowry Jack passes to Cantor Ibaka comes with the double team it's stolen by Ibaka here's Lowry the putback it's good on the putback you like the way that DeMar DeRozan stuck with the play. A lot of guards will shy away from the contact when you have to go to the offensive glass. And Jack kicks to Hardaway. Shoots a three. And Jared Jack, the bucket on the assist from Hardaway. Jack's got 11 points. Outside Lowry. Dishes it to Powell. In the corner of Baca with it. to Powell. Six on the shot clock. From the high post, Valanciunas, good. Ten points for him. When Valanciunas is getting it to fall from there, the defense is in trouble. Lowry against Jack. At the elbow, Lee. Down low. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Lowry with the ball. He's got seven. Alan Junis, that's a screen for Lowry. That's Lowry again missing. Ah, he's trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but it's not to be. 
Left side, Hardaway. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Raptors with the lead. Lowry for three. Cranes the three-pointer. And that even things out. He had a three early in the first half. Now gets one in the second. New York's gone six of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Porzingis against Ibaka. Cantor sets the pick for Porzingis. The shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. The wide open look here for DeRozan. Rebounded by Hardaway. A high percentage look from the mid-range. Might have been surprised that he was so wide open. And the rejection by Ibaka. Raptors leading by five. Lowry kicks to Powell. Feeds to DeRozan. Over Hardaway. DeRozan can't get that one to fall. He's hit a rough patch this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, though. Out to Hardaway. Sinks the triple. Hardaway has got 10 points in the game. I mean, just a good shooter taking what the defense allows. Finds some space out beyond the arc. Lowry dishes to Ibaka. Outside DeRozan. Got a piece of it. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Here's Jack. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Jack's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Powell kicks to Ibaka. Over Porzingis. And again, no good by Toronto. New York's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Baseline J on the way. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Raptors lead by two. He's been so consistent scoring the basketball. It has helped them tack on to this lead. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. No good from Beasley. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And one strength, Greg, that this Knicks team has enjoyed the last couple years has been their ability to win the rebounding game. And that's back-to-back -back seasons, Kevin, in, in the top ten for rebounding in terms of the Knicks. And it was something they wanted to improve upon starting a few years ago. They've changed their rebounding trouble into a big asset moving forward. Here's on an open. He has six. He kicks to Nogueira. Toronto working the ball around now. Four on the clock. Here's Siakam. And that one is stuffed right through. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. That was just a textbook pick that allowed him room, and he took advantage of it. Unloads from nine. That one off the back iron and out. Knicks trail by four. Here's Beasley. And the basket is good. Beasley's got nine. Toronto's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And Wright kicks to Siakam. Over O'Quinn. Siakam, good. A quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Here's Baker. Beasley with a screen on Miles. To the paint. No good from Beasley. That was very tight defense. He tried to force the layup anyway. I think that was a questionable decision. And so the ball is out of bounds. Miles touched it last. And a look here at the shot chart for Persingas. Well, they, they haven't really been strong enough inside. I mean, they haven't been a force or aggressive with getting those good quality looks in the paint and I think the one dimensionality of their offense is going to continue 
to be an issue because the defense isn't having to worry about clogging the lane or defending down low. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Pass to Neil Aquino. Got a hand on it. Right outside. In the corner, Miles with it. Over to the left wing. Here's on an open by Beasley. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 15 points in the game. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one on. Now the feed to O'Quinn. Beasley the screen. Beasley can't get that one to fall. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. To the right side. Siakam passes to right. Here's on an open. Lock at six. Pass to Siakam. Over old Quinn. Siakam misses. Poor decision to force that one. The defense is right there because of a terrible pick. Foul on the play, basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wendt. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. Toronto leading by four. The pass to Anano. Up top, Miles. Over Baker. Miles with another miss. New York's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three pointers in this game. Look at oh, that jam. Nice. I mean, just beautiful. I totally agree. Yeah, Neil Aquina there attacking the rim. An explosive long guard who can get to the rack with the best of them. And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another unleashed chaos moment. You can't give him any daylight, or he will do just that. 144 left in the third quarter of the game. Hernan Gomez in the corner. There's Baker, defended by Miles. Hernan Gomez in the corner. Back to O'Quinn. Here's Neil Aquino. But they recover it. Yeah, just nice hustle there. That work gets them the extra possession. Bucket is good. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Now here's Wright. Six points for him. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. And even three-on-three -three break. For the tie, and the layup is good. Hernan Gomez has got it all tied up now for the Knicks. I tell you, Neil Aquina has his head on a swivel, always looking to find the open teammate. Nogueira dishes to right. He feeds it to Miles. Shot clock at six. Here's Ananobi. Buries it down low. Ananobi's got eight points. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. And this is obviously where you'd like to see a two-for-one. End of quarter, great time to squeeze out an extra possession. Beasley kicks to O'Quinn. Here's Neil Aquino. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Neil Aquino's got four points in the quarter. And you can see he's been working on that post game. Neil Aquino showing some skill set down on that low block using that length to his advantage. Right outside. And 
it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. He had a defender all over him. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. down the first one. And so right kneels both of them. Six seconds left in the third. Here's Nilakina. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Toronto ahead, up by two. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And from the most recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Dwayne Casey. But it's about defense down here. No second time. Rebound, we go. All right? But make sure. Make a miss. Get back. Here we go. Want to make more plays, be fast end-to-end. -end. Dwayne Casey injecting energy into his team. Yeah, and when they're in attack mode, sometimes it can lead to turnovers. But it could also lead to a nice run here. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. On the court for the Knicks. Beasley is out there with Kyle O'Quinn. Then there's Herman Gomez, and it's Baker in at the two. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Toronto's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Now the dish to Miles. They set the pick. Kicks to right. This is it to want an open. Six to shoot. Floats one. The Knicks pull it in. I think Gomez has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. And the call will be against Hernan Gomez. That's his first foul. Some changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Siakam. And it's to Rosen in for Ananobi. The Raptors shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. The now here's Wright. He dishes it to Miles. Ibaka with a screen on Hardaway. And Miles kicks to Ibaka. And it's off from three-point range. And Przingis, here we go. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Dwayne Casey, he's in his seventh season as a head coach of the Raptors. He's developed a great continuity and a comfort level with his players. Catching up on the changes for Toronto, Valanciunas, he's checked in for Nogueira. Norman Powell comes in for C.J. Miles, and it's Kyle Lowry in for Wright. Second free throw, no good. And Casey is very collaborative with his staff and players. You know why, Kevin? He has no ego with him. It's always a two-way conversation with his players. It's about getting it right, no matter whose idea it is. 
Now here's Lowry. Alan Junis sets a screen for Lowry. Dishes to Ibaka. Over Porzingis and Serge Ibaka. The bucket on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Jack passes to Hardaway. Cantor inside. Alan Junis is there. And the Knicks miss again. I mean, the mid-range jump shot. A lot of guys have a hard time knocking it down. Powell kicks to Lowry. Takes the 13-footer. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Down low. Here's Cantor. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. One shot. Good from Canton. The Raptors have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Alan Judas with a screen on Jack. Here's Lowry. He gets that one to drop. He's now five of twelve. Lowry on the pick and roll draws so much attention because he is so good at finishing the play himself. Lowry against Jack. A three from Porzingis. Rebound by the Raptors. Rosen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Count it. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. For New York, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Now here is Hardaway. Cantor sets the pick for Hardaway. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And Tim Hardaway Jr., the son of a former all-star point guard. Uh, Jr., not maybe the same ball handler his father was, but he can sure fill it up. And I really feel like he's established his niche in the NBA. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And Hardaway Jr., a 6'6 shooting guard out of Michigan. Talk about his game a little bit for us, Greg. Analyze where he is. Uh, above average in terms of his athletic ability. Improving defensively. And, and right now he's playing off the ball, whether spotting up or, or filling the lane. I, I think this guy's got a chance to be special. He's passionate, and boy, does he compete. And Valanchun is far from a finished product, Steve. His coaches and teammates feel he will get better, but... In your opinion, where does he need to improve? I think on a defensive end, he does a nice job of blocking shots, but I would love to see him in rotations being able to be there a little bit earlier. And then on the offensive end, extend his range a little bit more and also have somewhat of a go-to move down on the low block. And so here is New York. Back to Lee. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Outside Lowry fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Raptors lead by four. If Lowry gets his feet set under him on a catch and shoot like that, the odds are it'll go in. And Jack kicks to Cantor. Inside, Hardaway. And too long on the shot. Well, this is where he's inconsistent. And that can slow down your team's momentum. They grab their own miss. The Rosen's shot is off. Knicks trail by four. And here is Jack. Here's Lee. And Lee with the stuff. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one hand jam. Toronto's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Lowry against Jack. Outside Lowry. 
feeds it to Ibaka. Porzingis with the block, and he's able to get it back. Just five to shoot. The second chance effort, and he hits the jump shot. 14 points for DeMar DeRozan. That kind of shot is something that DeRozan has worked hard on to make consistent. Lowry against Jack. Hard away with a wide open look. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got five assists tonight. Outside Lowry. Tabaka with a screen on Hardaway. Here's Lowry. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. That's a grown man's basket right there by Kyle Lowry. He is so good at getting dirty down inside. And for Zingas, here we go. And a wide open look for Lee. No good. That would have tied it. One May three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Raptors leading by three. To the inside, stolen by Cantor. And there it is on a night when he's been so efficient handling the basketball. That's his first real mistake. His lack of consistency with his shot tonight has held them back. Now here's Lowry. From 15 feet away, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. Look at the focus in DeRozan's eyes on that shot. A guy right in his face, but he had no problem finishing it. In the corner, it's Jack. On the way against DeRozan. No good on that one. The Raptors have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. The shot by Powell, no good. Coming down the stretch here, holding the lead. You like him to be more efficient offensively. Raptors with the lead. Outside Lowry. Ibaka sets the pick for Lowry. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Shoots over Cantor. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Valanciunas out of Lithuania, the fifth overall pick back in 2011. Yeah, he's still quite young. You know, a lot of talent offensively. Defensively, he's probably had less of an impact, but that's where he has to take the next step. That free throw, no good. For a player his size, Valanciunas has always been a good free throw shooter. We won't see a hack of Val anytime soon. Good on the second free throw. Knicks trail by six. And Porzingis, here we go. And the dunk by Porzingis. And how about that? Snuck in off the baseline and then the sensational reverse. Now, how pretty was that? Athletic basketball with a little bit of flair mixed in. Now here is Lowry. Hardaway with the steal. And now in transition is Lee. Here we go. Now to Hardaway. Lowry against Jack. Pass to Canner. Back to Jack. Six on the shot clock. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Toronto's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Powell with the screen from the line. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. And that's now 18 points for Serge Ibaka. Jack against Lowry. Jack dishes to Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. 
And guys, he saw his chance to earn a little camera time there and took uh, it. Rocking the rim with some major force. Anytime you get an opportunity to show off a little bit, you have to take it. And here are the Raptors now. The Knicks making the shot. Valanciunas passes to DeRozan. Verzingas with the block. Lee kicks to Jack to tie it up. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It makes it, and the next one could tie it up. up with that one here's DeRozan Alan Judas with a screen on Hardaway DeRozan against Hardaway here's Valanciunas and Cancer pulls it down just great at getting after it defensively forcing guys into tough shots yeah to be successful You've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. And the Raptors with the ball. Outside Lowry. Inside, stolen by Cantor. On the wing, Hardaway. DeRozan defending. Lee dishes to Hardaway. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting time six out, for 12. Out. And how about the grit and determination Started. in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Toronto calls timeout. And as of late, they have not looked good at all. Actually, they've been dominated. And the worst part, they're starting to get down on themselves. Really need that one big play to spark some life back into them. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kristaps Porzingis. And I would point to his shooting percentage as the key reason he's our pick. And that sounds simple, but he hadn't tried to do too much. He hasn't tried to force his shots. Just kind of waited and worked to get good looks. And in the end, he's found plenty of them. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. He told the guys, I know you can do it. Make every possession count and watch how things go our way. Kevin? Now, here's Lowry. Ibaka outside. The V2 DeRosa. Doesn't go for him. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. Here's Hardaway to the wing on the left. Jack passes to Hardaway. Alan Junis against Cantor. Four on the shot clock. Here's Hardaway. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Left side, DeRozan. Hardaway with the steal. And a fast break now for New York. Jacks are running. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds now tonight. And DeRozan kicks to Lark. Powell with the screen. Lowry dishes to Powell. Pass to DeRozan. Shot to stop the run. Got a piece of it. And he gets it back. 
Lee outside. Here's the pass to Jack. Back to Lee. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Ibaka. It's stolen by Jack. DeRozan against Hardaway. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. at a seven-point lead. The second one is good. We both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Toronto with the ball. Up top to Rosen. Guarded by Hardaway. DeRozan passes to Valanciunas. Like the way that Valanciunas worked his way to the line on that shot. Never let the defender get comfortable. the first and that narrows the gap to seven second free throw no good that time he really wanted that one no way he is happy with himself right now he knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. And Jack kicks to Hardaway. To the middle. Singus passes to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Here's Lee. Alan Junis grabs the board. Guy is a comeback probably not in the cards at this point. Yeah, I think he can put a fork in it. free throw is good and that trims the lead to six what you get with DeRozan possesses the prototypical frame for an NBA wing that helps him get to the line with frequency both free throws good from DeRozan 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter and now we've got the intentional foul you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And Neil Aquina, he possesses that unselfishness that really allows his guys to play their best basketball. You got to love his approach. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Outside DeRozan, outside Lowry, but Trey can't hit that one. So it's New York picking up the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys did a great job contesting shots and disrupting their offense. What did you like best about the defensive effort tonight? 
I think from the beginning of the game, we just started off uh, aggressive. We were connected defensively, and uh, that's why we were able to stop them. You got it done when it counted, Chris Stops. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.